So I thought when I was going to see this movie, I was like, oh yeah, the Atomic Blonde's going to be John Wick. I can't wait for a crossover since it's from the same makers. But then once I saw the movie, I was like, maybe she can be his mother. <laughs> Atomic Blonde is the latest movie of David Leitch, who is supposed to be one of these stuntmen turned directors who helped on the first John Wick movie. So not to think about it. So since he supposedly did on Chapter 2, but was on Chapter 1, does that make him still kind of director of Part 2? Or in some relation, is, or is John Wick Chapter 2 related to Atomic Blonde because the first movie had the same directors? And then now that this guy's doing Deadpool 2, is this all connected now? Can they all meet up in one place? Is it still related, like, as, like, siblings or cousins? I don't know. Just had me thinking with how both the director's works can still kind of be related to one another. So this has Charlie Stern is playing as the main hero or, like, the, the kick-ass agent in this movie who has to stop these people from get letting this list come out for, like, to expose all these agents of, like, the MI secret agents and like set in the like 19 late 80s during like the berlin wall and the whole agent part of this the whole spy you might have heard of a thousand times already the story of the plot but this is what she needs to do has to protect a certain amount of people and she gets help from like james mackable and are here in this movie or at least say off the the main character of the story charlie stern she is just cementing herself as this action star. I don't know how much she does of her own stunts, but the way she is now being depicted, how she was like in Mad Max Free Road, and then now in this, she is a person that has an award on her mantle, but she is just kicking ass. And like, whatever age she's at, she knows how to be now this prominent action star. Just like seeing her, she knows how to get things done the way she wants to. She knows that she, when something's gonna go down she knows how to prepare herself to get out of the situation she is a tough kick-ass woman or i should say person and she's just awesome to root for on the screen the action sequences that david leach does because he is he was a stuntman and now director he knows how to do action where he doesn't have to do quick cuts he just lets the camera be in place and see and we like to see the people just just fight out the scenes whether they're stuntmen or the actual actors it just feels refreshing just like john wick where you get to see something and just enjoy the action of how it looks look like the old times of like the old martial arts days just when you get those types of like types of action scenes back on the big screen it's just rewarding refreshing to see something like that james mcaboy this guy could be like the greatest actor in the worst terrible movie he would still be the best part he he is a saving grace of any movie, whether the movie's good or bad. Just like seeing him play, just channel his character, different emotions that he has to go through. He's he's likable. He, you hate him at times, but it's just a test to like how good Mac was. You know, seeing him in Split earlier this year, now seeing him in this, it's just awesome to have him pop up on your screen. If you're lucky to have him in a movie, like it's just a great time to see him perform with the acting range he is as a person so like i said like you know the action sequences really were amazing to watch just they were they felt real they were brutal they were just at times just you just couldn't hold to like how just gruesome it was it's like oh man like they felt so authentic but then like the way it was surrounding itself with a story which people probably know where i'm going with story like i said it's been done a couple of times and they didn't try to just spin something new here and when they did, I thought they were doing going way too much with it. The story is just okay. It really was just a device for all these action scenes. It just felt really like the MacGuffin of this. Depending if those are coming coming inspecting Atomic Wick, it's gonna be something different and and I appreciated how it deviated from like John a John Wick kind of story, but still just the character like even the character I didn't have enough too much to have gravitate to I didn't relate to so much there wasn't something where I felt like she, an emotional state where she could have got hurt I kind of felt like she I knew what she, she was gonna come out okay and then just the way they chose the narration of how to tell the story it could be suffice it could work if like done right but usually not a fan of how they do these types of things if they're not done well 
just it kind of spoils the fun a little bit for the movie i'm gonna have to give atomic blonde a b minus let me know guys what you thought of this movie like did you have a good time like enjoyed the action sequences what do you think of, like like the story the plot how it added up both for you all this in the comments below and as always roll an empire laugh smile repeat